Okay, we're back, and it turns out that I was right from the beginning. It just wasn't set up like... I don't know, you'll see. You'll see what happens here. So, the way that I was doing it, which I thought made sense, isn't how you do it. You're supposed to do it this way. So, you... So you get where... There we go. Dang it. We want... There we go. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we want the bomb one to be jutting out a little bit so I can stand on it. Then apparently, instead of pressing E on it to open it when it says, like, E to examine, instead of that, you just grab the entire plank and just tear it out of the ceiling, drop it down there, instead of opening it up like a normal human being would. Alright, let's save here, since I made that progress that I don't ever want to have to redo. Okay, let's save over this... And we're up here. Nice. Good job, everyone. With our teamwork, we managed to do it. I have no idea what to expect now. Thank god I looked that up, though. Because if I hadn't looked that up, I never would have been able to figure that out. Because I already tried, like, getting up there by stacking stuff and it didn't work. I just didn't realize I was supposed to press right click and rip the panel out of the ceiling instead of E to examine. It's so weird. But oh well. We made it through. We've got it all figured out now, so nothing to worry about. Feeling like there is not anything for me here except for this door. So let's go through the door. Door time. Uh oh. This looks like I might end up in a chase sequence. Oh, wait. Loading. I have to load the uh, text that's on that note that we're about to read. It's an important part of the process. For everyone watching the stream, if you can tell me what number that is at the top, like backwards 6-8, I don't even know, man. It's like a bunch of numbers combined together. Alright, investigate. It's a letter. My name is Eric Wheeler. I moved in this old manor a long time ago. Manor had a bad history and many ghost stories, but I didn't believe or care. In a few months, strange things happened. I woke up on voices and saw strange things. One day, some guy came to the manor and told me that he was on his way to the city, but could not continue because of an unexpected snowstorm. He asked me if he could stay night at my manor. In the morning, I found him dead. I hid the corpse to the cellar. I didn't know what happened. It wasn't accident or suicide, and always the same. If someone stayed at the night, or even came to visit, died. I didn't want to call the police because they wouldn't believe me. I was wondering if I'm the one who killed those people. This place is making me crazy, and I can't leave because of storms. It started only a few days ago, but it looks like it won't stop. Anyway, I wrote this because I'm going to shut myself to the cellar. I can't live with the things I have done. In this place, please torch the place immediately and don't tell anyone about it. Oh my god, that's a crazy story. Alright, is it true? Did that actually happen? I wonder if now we have to burn the place down and leave. We're gonna open this, it's gonna be a guy on the other side of it. Maybe not. Maybe not. Give me a save. I definitely feel like there's nothing else up here for us, so... It should be safe going down. I wonder if this is like the end of the game. We just learned about that story and stuff. Oh, he's gone. That's a good sign. I'm gonna head to the front door and see if maybe now it's time to leave. Oh god, what happened here? This whole place is falling apart. So does that mean I have to take another route? Uh-oh. 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 They're forcing me to run into something. 
I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, wonderful. Alright, let's save again, just because you know me. I'm soon to be on safety save, whatever my last name is. By that I mean my middle name is safety save. Yeah, we didn't alert him. Alright, that's definitely the way we need to go. And there's no way not to alert that guy. So we just have to run, open the door, and get through. We're probably making a mad dash to the front door so we can leave. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. I'm gonna die. He's not following. That's good. Let's see what it said. If I'm gonna burn this place, I need something like a fuel or something. Okay. So you're saying we need to go down to the cellar. Nice. Alright. I don't want to alert any guys, but I kind of feel like there's going to be a guy waiting for us here, so we're probably... Wait, what the heck? It won't open. Why isn't it opening? It won't open. I thought that's where I was going to get it from. Maybe... Is there something here I need to get? Don't tell me it's broken. What was that sound? Okay, I guess it's just like a weird sound effect for me doing this. a bad idea. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm definitely gonna be stuck by the end of this. I'm guessing that means that we're not supposed to go into the basement for this. Or the cellar or whatever. Do I have to find it somewhere else? If so, where else is there gasoline? Where else is there stuff that we can use like that? Is it glitched? It might be glitched. If we have burn this place, it's something like fuel or something. Alright, I'm going to put another save. And then we're going to load that save and see if maybe then I'll be able to open the door to the cellar. Okay, come on, come on, come on. I want to say we're like right on the verge of ending the game. We're getting ready to burn the building down. And... Let's see if this will work. It does not work. Why doesn't it work? Yeah, I guess we can't go there. We have to find it somewhere else. And since I'm guessing it's not any of this stuff, definitely doesn't seem to be any of this stuff, yeah. Alright, so we need to look around, and this is the only direction we can go. Back through that door that I passed. I'm just taking a last look over here. I know this door isn't going to open, so... Yeah, we have to go back this way deal with this guy. Yeah. Oh, well that's nice. Dude, you're a jerk. Alright, so we know it's not over there. Where else would it be? We need to look around and find the gasoline. I should probably load one of the older ones. 
before I ended up on the other side of that guy. Let me try this one. Don't worry, guys. We're so close to the ending. We just have to do a little bit of trial and error and find where this item is. I should have paid attention when I was running through the house and tried to find, uh... Right. Where's the gasoline? Where's the gasoline? Maybe in the supplies closet? Was that where... I'm trying to remember if I noticed it in there, I might have. There's a guy over here too. They've got them posted, like, all over. Maybe the bathroom. What's that up there? Is that it? Doesn't seem like it. Hmm. Got some pills again. Check in here. Is that it? I think it is. Got it. Yeah. We good. Alright, I'm gonna save just to be safe. Put it on this one. And I wanna say that we're good, we can uh, head to the front unless it says like, oh, what are you gonna light it with? You sure have found some matches on your way here. And that's gonna be like, oh, that's not enough uh, to burn. You need to go find some more dry planks of wood. And they'll just keep on coming up with as many things as they possibly can. Alright, so with this guy, I'm gonna try to run through the door and close it at the same time as me running through it. So that we just automatically got it. If I'm going to burn this place, I need something like fuel. Uh, I've got it, yeah. They might have a guy over here. Oh, cutscene. I was about to light up. You gonna get high? When the cellar came back to my mind. Could Eric still be alive? I was too curious. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't know how I feel about this. This isn't gonna end well. It's locked as it opens. Now it's open. Hey, you still alive, man? Are you still alive? I don't see him. Ow! That box hit me. What am I looking for right now? Um... Oh my god, I'm stuck again. Um, there we go. Look at that! Hey, you here, bro? I think this is the ending. We've done it. Bro? Hello? Maybe it's not over yet? Let's, uh... Get a little bit more. I'm saving too often now. Save over this one. How's it going? I'm doing fine. Do you mind if I just sort of uh, grab this key right here? You know? Just sort of uh, grab this. Oh god, I'm trying to grab the key and it's not. Ow, ow, ow. Alright, so I'm going to try. Does it say I'm trapped?
Ooh, yeah. juked him. Now the door's closed. What are you gonna do now? There's another door. Got a key? Yeah, save right here. Save over that one. Oh god. There's a skeleton right there. Dude, it looks like he did more than just, uh... I think he actually did experiments on these people. Oh my god. All of these corpses. Oh god. Skeleton so alive. These guys are gonna get up and attack me. I think the rest of the corpses are behind this door. Oh my god, dude, really? Really? Am I dead? Phobia, the fear of the darkness. Alright, so it looks like that's the end. Texture, modded, and retextured Junus something. Yunus. I'm guessing that means that he just pretty much did all of this game on his own. Maybe it's Yunus. That's uh, John in Swedish, is it? I think I remember learning that uh, from Smash Brothers, of all places. It's like, no Yunus, no Johns. I might be remembering that wrong. But yeah, that was Phobia, the Fear of the Darkness. Uh, my understanding is the next one is much better. Like, they improved a bunch of different aspects of it and stuff, cleaned things up. So, I'm definitely interested in playing that one. If you guys enjoyed this one, it wasn't like super exciting or super intensive or something, but compared to a lot of the indie games we've played, I think it was pretty interesting. Actually had some story that I was motivated to try and, uh, uncover. But I'm gonna get these uploaded, and once this is all up, I'll probably start on Phobia 1.5, the next game. And we'll check that out, we'll see what that's like, uh, hopefully play through it, get to the end. And Phobia, the Fear of the Unknown is the next one that will be coming out. And so hopefully we'll be able to play that once it comes out, and just sort of see how this guy has improved over time with how he's made his games. So yeah, I hope that you guys had a great time. Let me know in the comments, I always love to hear what your favorite parts were, if you were happy with it, if you got like really scared at any times, it's always nice knowing I'm not the only one. So have a wonderful day, all of my yawns out there. And don't forget to feed your pets.